How's uh, spring ball been going for you so far? Um, I've been improving, getting better. Um, I see like as in a D line, we've been getting more in a relationship, getting better connections, making sure everybody get healthy and stuff like that. We've been doing pretty good though. When you look back at last season, what, what were your takeaways from that? What was what? Your takeaways from, from last season. Learning. Yeah. Learning really like I wasn't nowhere near ready, but it's just a it was a learning experience really. That's all I have to say. How do you feel about the depth on the defensive line? Just on paper, it seems like you guys are three I'm, or four deep. We're thick. We're gonna be thick. When everybody get healthy, everybody get here, we gonna have a good rotation this season. And how do you think all you guys will uh, be able to rotate the playing time? Um, it'll, it'll be, it, it should get rotated. I know D lines used to rotating on like O line, so it shouldn't be hard at all. It's rotating and all that. You said at points you, you may not have felt ready, but what, what was it like, kind of getting thrown into the middle of it like that? Uh, it was, it was very like, I wasn't expecting this to happen, but yeah, I just went with it, did as best as I could. But like at the end of the day, I see it as a learning experience. What was your best moment last year? Um, probably Clemson game, cause I felt I played way more than I thought I was, and like I did good, but I didn't do as good as I wanted to. I felt like I really improved that game. What was the worst moment where you were just like, oh, I don't know if I know what I'm what I'm doing right now? The worst game was probably Florida. Yeah. Um, and like the games that we played, like little schools like Akron, like I didn't do so good. Like I didn't have no type of stats, and I know. This season coming up, I have to have some type of stat, stats every game. What was it like going through the Georgia game where it's your second game on campus and you got that offensive line on the other side? Uh, that right there was not fair at all, but <laughs> life isn't fair. So, I mean, this season coming up, we got two SEC team, two big time SEC teams, Alabama, Georgia. At the end of the day, I chose to play in the SEC, so I have to deal with that. Is there anything that can kind of mentally prepare a person for that kind of jump from, you know, high school to that? Or is that something you just, you got to experience? You got to experience. You got you, you to gotta go through it. Like, like <laughs> you got to go through it, honestly. Like, you're not, you're going to get thrown on your butt. Like, no matter how good you are, it's going to happen to you one day. What are your expectations for Saturday, the spring game? How much do you think you'll play? What do you expect out of yourself? I expect to show the South Carolina fans what they're waiting to see in August, September. Which is what? Uh, that we're seven and seven and six. Whatever we had was not okay. We're gonna do better than that. Rick, is there an older teammate last year that you really stuck to? That you maybe learned from? Um, Kobe Smith. He was my roommate whenever we traveled, and that's the person that like they say I act like him. So I just learned all my stuff from him. Uh, pretty much like. He coached, like, whenever I'm out in the field with him, he tells me what I have to do. Like, last year, I didn't know much. So whenever I was practicing with him, he would tell me what I had to do. And then, like, whenever we had, like, whenever we roomed up together at hotels, he would, like, like whenever we had our test, he would help me with it and tell me what we had to do and stuff like that. What was the biggest thing you kind of tried to work on going through this offseason? Um, probably getting more flexible, coming out my hips more, um, my pad level, my strength and my mindset early. What's been like with Coach Scott this this spring? Oh, uh, he's been very good. Like he, I've learned a lot from him. Um, I've gained a connection with him. Um, it's like I don't have nothing really bad to say about him. Like he's a really good coach and he knows what he's talking about. What does he bring to the table that's maybe different from what you've learned in the past? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I I feel like. It doesn't like it doesn't feel weird at all. Like when I met a T, it, it wasn't that weird. Like it wasn't weird getting used to him. Like I don't know. I just got used to him. After going through spring practice with this building, how different is life having all the stuff right there as compared to where the way it used to be? Very reasonable. Like you don't have to like do that long walk to go to practice. Like you can legit get your stuff ready, come in here, and not make that long walk. It's like reasonable. Is it kind of crazy the next the next group of? I guess the, the current group of freshmen that have come in won't won't know that walk at all. No. I low key miss it. <laughs> I miss I miss being at the stadium. But like, yeah, I miss it. That's what they won't know. Like, it's actually you actually will miss it. Yeah. You mentioned the word learning a lot. Was there a point during last season when 
the learning turned into okay, I got this, I can play at this level. Was there a, was there a turning point there? Yeah, I've also I, I felt like I got that turning point during spring. Like during spring, I started off kind of slow, but like towards now, I've been getting way better. I've been getting more reps. Whenever they, whenever Coach Munchumps mentions the like effort of the day and stuff like that, my name's being called more. Um, I'm just like it's gonna be a like I'm gonna be a different person this season coming up, really. What kind of strides have you made in the weight room side of things now that you've been in the program for a while? Um, what do you mean, like getting stronger or like? Yeah, I feel like I've been getting stronger. Coach Campbell has did everything right to get us as a D line stronger. Have you taken on a role in helping kind of guide Zach and and Joseph kind of into this program a little bit? Yeah, you got to, you got to. Like I came in last year and I needed someone to help me. So at the end of the day, like after I have my freshman year, I got to help the people that come in. What have those guys kind of shown you through the, through the course of spring? Like younger guys. They got a lot of potential. They're going to be real good. Zach, Joseph, Devontae, they're going to be really good. Like, once they understand what they got to do, all that, know their plays and all that, we're going to have, like, a great depth on the line. For you, what was kind of that, that, that process like of learning the plays and all that going through through last year? It was hard. I saw, like, they gave me all the playbooks. I was like, how am I going to learn this? Like, dang, like. How like it was just real hard, but like after a while, I just put everything in their own little category that had the same thing going on. In play, and it just got easier for me. How much bigger was the South Carolina playbook than the one you had in high school? We really had, we really didn't even have a playbook. It was just a four down and a three down, and then that was it. But whenever you got here, it was like, hey. Are you an inside guy, both in four down and three down here, or do you do some outside stuff? Three down, I do outside and inside, but four down, I'm inside.